everyone, today we're gonna make this 3D bear. This 3D bear is designed by a friend Peggy Wu. I will put a link down below so you can find her Facebook. Today we're gonna use green and for this bear you will need two toy eyes. It will look like this and this is the size I use. You can get this toy eyes at your local art store in the bottom. But this is optional, you don't have to use that. Today I'm gonna use these flowers. So let's get started. First we're gonna make its ear. You can make the whole color, the same like body color, or you can mix with white on the center here. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this part with white. I have used this technique for many of my projects. So if you already have done this kind of technique, this should be pretty easy. So first we're gonna start with ear. For the ear, I'm gonna make a major circle with six stitch. Take one single band, whichever color you like to use. Make it into a cap band. Take another band. This is our major circle. Do it one more time. This will be the first band for the border. So if you need to make a marker, we're gonna make it right here. Take one of the band using different color. Any color is okay because we're going to take it out. It's just a marker. I'm not going to use it. Now we have finished one stitch. Put your hook to this center band, this cap band, very first band. Bring it through. Put both in on your hook. Second band is border. So this is our second stitch. In total, we're going to make six times. This is third. Four. Five. On this one, I'm going to use Y for the border. Six. So now we have finished our first major circle for the ear. So take the marker out and connect this first band to the last band, make it into a circle. So take another band, to connect them together. Second band. This will be the border for the second layer. So we're going to make a marker here. And for the ear total, we only need two layers. So second layer, we're going to make one to one for six stitch. So let's count for the first layer. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bands on the border with one white on the edge and whichever stitch you choose to be white that's fine doesn't matter now since we're gonna do one to one so we're gonna start with second stitch on the border so this is one two put your hook through take one pin bring it through so this will be second stitch for second layer and just move on to the next stitch. And when you come to this one, that's Y. On this stitch, we're gonna use Y. Okay, next one, go back to body color. Okay, now we have finished second layer. You should have six stitch. Take out the marker. 
Pagay hug through the first band and connect these two together. So now we have finished our ear. You can tie a knot here. Make sure you pull it tight. So this is our first ear. Six stitch for two layers. So for the ear, we're going to need two pieces of this. So pass your videos and make another one. I already made mine, so I have two ears now. And I'll see you when you're done. Next, we're going to make its hand. For the hand, the same way like we make the ear. For the ear, I make two layers with white on the center here. For the hand, I'm going to use all body color, but make it longer, I make it four layers. So the same way, the six stitch, make a major circle, and then one to one for three more layers. So total has four layers for the hand. And we need two pieces of it. Just in case you're not sure how to do it yet, I'm going to show you one more time. Make the three rings, cap in. This is our major circle. Make a marker on the first border for this layer. Take a hook back to the center point. This is the second stitch. Now after you have six, I'm going to connect this first band to the last band. So let's count see if we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're going to go ahead and make the second layer. So this first and second layer, make a marker and one to one, go all the way around and you will finish second layer. For the hand, I totally used four layers. So go ahead and finish four layers. After you're done, it will look like this. In total, we need two pieces. So now you can pause my videos, finish total two pieces of this and I will see you when you're done. Now after you have finished to hand. Until you're done, we're going to hide this piece inside. Okay, so now we have two hands. Now we're going to move on to the leg. Leg is the same way like you make hands, except leg is a little bit bigger. So for the leg, I use eight stitch. The same, start with a major circle and then total four layers with eight stitch. So the second layer will be one to one for three layers. So now you can pass your videos and make two of these with X stitch so it will look slightly bigger than the hand. So now you can pass your videos and make two more of this and I will see you when you're done. Okay, after you finish two legs, now we're gonna connect these two legs together. Now we're gonna move on to the body from here. So these two legs will connect together, egg plus egg. So total all the way around, it should have 16 stitch. So now them one to one, take one more band. So this will be first border on this layer. So we're gonna make a marker here. Now on second stitch, we're gonna connect the next piece. So since it's one to one, so I'm gonna start with second stitch. And take this second leg, Untie this part. We're going to use this band to connect them together. So pull it through. 
this second stitch on this leg propose and on your hook so right now on your hook it should look like this and these two connect on this stitch okay now two legs connect together we're gonna move on work on this side first one to one so this second stitch would be this leg second stitch so we're gonna start from here this side I'm gonna start from first stitch on this leg in the same way just go all the way through to here Okay, now we have seven for the egg. This is the last one. So I'm going to connect to the next one. Take one pin, bring it through. This is egg stitch for this side. Okay, so now, now I'm going to take your hook through this stitch. One more time. This is stitch that connect to the other side. Okay, after we connect these two sides together, we're gonna move on to the next stitch. And the same one to one. Okay, after you go all the way around, connect this first band to the last one. Okay, now if you count the edge here, it should have 16 stitch. So that's counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 all the way around this is first layer for the body so now we're going to move on to the next layer next layer we're going to add two stitch so total you will come out 18 stitch so for the first eight stitch one to one and nine and ten we're going to add one stitch on nine and one stitch on ten and after that one to one go all the way around and you will come out with 18 stitch so we're going to start it from here, make a marker here, this will be the first stitch, okay, one to one for egg stitch, so this is one, second stitch, move on to next one, two, three and continue to do this for eight of them this will be four okay now we have eight here if you count it one two three four five six seven eight so next one we're gonna eight one stitch so total on this stitch we're going to do two times so second time go back to the same stitch so on this stitch we have two in here Next one, descend two times on this stitch. This is one. Go back to the same stitch. Okay. 
Now for the rest, just one to one and finish it up all the way here, connect them together. So we have increased two stitch right here. So move on to the next one. Okay, after we finish, take out the marker, connect them together. So now we just finish another layer. So for this layer, you should get 18 stitch. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 stitch now. Now next layer. We're going to use 20 stitch. The same way, one to one for the first 9 stitch. And on the 10 and 11, we're going to add one stitch on these two. But here, we're going to start at changing color. So where you add the stitch, we're going to start it with white. So that will be this part. If you don't want to use white, that's fine. You can change any color you like or just use the entire body color. Right here, I'm going to use white. So first nice stitch, one to one. So this will be the first stitch. Make a marker. And then count nine all the way to the front here. So one to one. Okay, now we have 9 stitch, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so got 9, so for the next 2 stitch, we're going to do 2 at a time, so this will be the first one, we're going to change to white, and go back to the same stitch, do one more time, same is white, Next one, use Y for two times. And go back to the body color, just one to one, all the way along, come back here. Okay, you take it go all the way along, the same. Connect both them together. Now let's count see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we have 20. Next step, we're going to stay the same 1 to 1. So after you're done, you will still have 20 stitch. For the front part here, Y, you are still using Y, green, still using green. Just one to one, finish this layer. So you can go ahead and finish, and I will see you when you're done. Okay, after we finish this layer, one to one, so let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we got 20 stitch on this layer. Now next layer, we're going to reduce 2 stitch. So the way to reduce, we just combine 2 stitch together. When we reduce stitch, we're going to do it on the back here. When we increase, we increase on the front here. So you will have a big tummy here. We're going to finish this first stitch. Make a mark here. So for the second and third stitch, combine them together. So this is second stitch, plug your hook through, and come back, go through third stitch. So now on your hook, it should look like this. Take one pin, bring it through.
So now we just reduce one stitch here. We need to reduce one more time. So total you will reduce two stitch. So four and five, connect them together. So go to four and five. We need to Okay, after we do this, then for the rest of it, we're just going to do one to one and all the way around, come back here. In total, you should get 18 stitch when you're done. So now, you can pause my videos and finish it up. I will see you when you're done. Okay, so after we finish this layer, we should get 18 stitch. So let's see what we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we have 18 stitch for this layer. Now next layer we're going to use all body color and we're going to connect the hands on two sides. One on each side. And also on this layer we're going to reduce two stitch. So you will come out with 16 stitch. So first, we're going to reduce on two and thirds, combine them together. So this is first. So start with second and come back to third. So now your hook should look like this. So we just reduce one stitch here. In the other stitch, we're going to reduce on the other side. So we're going to continue here, one to one. So do one more time, one to one. So next two stitch, I'm going to connect the hand right here. So put your hook to next stitch and take the hand that we already made, pull it through. And bring everything through. Now our hands connect to the bodies. So for the next stitch, the same, move on to next stitch. And then connect to the arm. So now we have our arm connect to the body and after that we're going to move on to the next stitch one to one and this day we're going to use all body color so I'm going to go through it I'm not going to use white anymore so green all the way Okay, after we finish the white area, do one more time on green. So next two, we're going to connect the other arm to the body. So put your hook to next stitch. Choose two on the arm. Bring everything through. Move on to the next stitch, the same, choose another two on the arm. This part, part up, that's okay, we can hide it later after we're done. Ok, 
Okay, now move on to the next one. Now move on to the next stitch. And we're gonna reduce one more stitch here. So come by next and then move on to the next one. And then just finish the rest of it. One to one. You should only have one more left. Okay. Now connect first stitch to this last one. So for this layer, we should have 16. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 stitch here. So now we're going to move on to the head. Make a marker here. Now for the head, we're going to make it bigger again. So we're going to increase from 16 stitch to 20s. So for the head, when we increase, we're going to spread it out instead of doing it at the same area. So every three stitch, you add one. Then you will come out with 20s. So the pattern for this layer, you will be first stitch, do it two times, and one to one for three times. Two times, one to one for three times. Two times, one to one for three times. The same as last one, two times, one to one for three times. So you do this pattern, you will come out with 20 stitch. For those of you already know how to do crochet, you can add it in anywhere you want. Just every three stitch, you add one. Then you will come out with 20 stitch. For those of you who didn't know how to do crochet, don't worry, you just follow my pattern, then you will come out 20 stitch. So I'm gonna dip this right here. You can pause your videos and just follow this pattern, then you should be fine. Now I'm gonna show you the first one. This is first stitch. We're gonna do two times. So we're gonna go back to this first stitch. Do it one more time. And then one to one for three times. So move on to the next stitch. One, two, and three. And next one will be two times on this stitch. So next stitch. This is first time for this stitch. And go back to the same stitch, do it one more time. And then move on to the next one, one to one for three times again. And the same way, go all the way around, come back here, and you will get 20 stitch. So I'm gonna dip this on the screen. You can just follow this pattern right here. So next stitch will be two times, and one to one. So now you can pause your video, just follow this pattern, and I will see you when you're done. Okay, after you're done, we should get 20 stitch. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we got 20 on this layer. Next layer, 
we're going to increase four stitch so total you will come out with 24 stitch the same except the pattern change it a little bit two stitch on first then four one to one two stitch four one to one two stitch four one to one and then go all the way around then you will get 24 stitch so the same just follow my pattern here then you should be getting 24 stitch for this there so this will be the first stitch make a mark here first stitch has two so go back to the first stitch make one more time and then next four will be one to one for four times one to one this is one two three four and then next one will be two times again And then just follow this pattern right right here so next stitch will be one to one for four times and then two stitch on the same stitch go all the way around then i will see you when you're done okay after we finish this layer connect them together so now this layer should have 24 so let's see how many we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we got 24 on this layer. Next layer, the same, 24. So we just go 1 to 1. Go all the way around. So this one should be easy. Finish up the first one here. Make a marker. And then just continue on here, start up on the second stitch. And move on to the next one, one to one. Go all the way around and come back here. And you should get 24. And I will see you when you're done. Now we finish this layer, you should get 24 stitch. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now next layer, we're going to reduce 4 stitch. So you will come out with 20 stitch. The pattern for this layer, so the pattern for this layer will be first stitch, 1 to 1, 2 and 3, combine them together, and then 4, next 4, 1 to 1. And then 2 stitch, combine them together, and then four stitch one to one so if you already know how to do it just pass my videos follow this pattern and finish it up you will get 20 stitch if you are still not sure how to do it I'll show you the first pattern here so first one is one to one this is the first stitch make a marker here so two and three combine them together so now we're gonna go two and three this is second and third stitch so now we just reduce one stitch so move on to the next one do one to one for four times So this is one, 
트트 Three, four, and then after you four times, one to one, next two, combine them together. Then just move on. Next four will be one to one, and then combine the next two together. Go all the way. Finish up here. Then I will see when you're done. After we finish this pattern, you should get twenty stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Got twenty stitch. For the next day, we're going to reduce 4 stitch again, so you will become 16 stitch. So the pattern for this day will be 1 to 1. These two combine together, 1 to 1 for 3 stitch. These two combine together, 1 to 1 for 3. And go all the way around. Then you will get 16 stitch. Every 3 stitch, reduce 1. So now you can pause your video, just follow this pattern and finish up this day. You should get 16 stitch when you're done. So I will see you when you're done. After you follow this pattern, when you're done here, you should get 16 stitch. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna connect them together first. So let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got 16 stitch. So now add one more pen and marker. For the next layer, we're going to get 12 stitch. So we're going to reduce 4 stitch from last layer. So the pattern for this layer will be 1 to 1. And these two combine together. 1 to 1 for 2 times. 2 combine together. 1 to 1 for 2 times, go all the way around, then you should get 12 stitch. So now pass your videos, follow this pattern. And after you're done, you should get 12 stitch. So I will see you when you're done. After you follow this pattern, after you're done, you should get 12 stitch on this layer. So now let's see what we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 stitch. So now before we cross this hole, we're gonna put some filling to the body. So let's add one more band. This will be for the next layer. And then make a marker here. So now it's pretty safe so we can start doing the filling. For the hand here, I didn't do the filling for the hand part. Because I think that's soft, so it feels better. Now we can hide this. Put it inside. First, just take a little tiny part just to fill in the leg first. Okay. Take another little tiny part. Fill in the other leg. Okay, after we fill in the leg, we're gonna start filling the tummy here. For the tummy, I'm gonna take a little bit more than leg. Now we're gonna fill in the head. Okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit more than the tummy. So feel to your desired size that you want it and I think that's about right so now we're going to close up the top here so we're going to take out this marker put your hook back to here so here has 12 stitch so I'm going to do 
every three stitch combine them together so I'm going to combine three stitch at one time just to fill it in so now two three and four in the same way just take one band bring it through You can do two stitch at a time, then you will have one more layer, that's fine too. Okay, next three. One, one just connect them together and tie a knot here now pull a tie we're gonna hide here and push it down like this so its head will look strong and on the top here it looks pretty small and nice like this okay now we're gonna start adding its ear in here okay now we're gonna add the ear right here the other ear on this side so i'm going to just go ahead and use this band find the point that you want to attach your ear to and just bring this through it it's kind of like a sewing on this part and hold on to this part and then come to the next stitch and and then run it through the other side of the ear like this and pull this through it so you will sew it together and now for this last part we're just gonna run it through this ear so you hold it for us so you don't have to use secret you want to use secret that's fine too there's so many different ways to do this part you can choose whichever way you like better and this is just one of the way so it doesn't have to be the same like me okay now we're gonna attach the other ear on this side the same way same way just choose the point where you want to attach to bring this through use your hand hold on to it and put your hook to the next stitch run it through the ear the other side bring it through and run it through the ear okay now you'll be attached to it pretty nice and neat okay we're almost done now we're gonna make its nose we're gonna use white band to make the nose Take one single band, twist it, make it into a cap band, three rings. For the nose, I'm going to use different kind of stitch. So, take another band, bring it through. Put both in on your hook. Tie a knot. Put your hook. Through this center band again. And we're going to make a major circle with six stitch. So this is second stitch. So now at this point you should have three bands on your hook. We're gonna take this outside band, bring it through these two. So now these two stitch will connect together. Put your hook through this center band, the cap band again. 
This is uh, the times. Put it to the cap pen again. Fourth. six we're gonna connect this is first band connect them together so take one more band this time we're gonna tie a knot and we're done but we're gonna hide this part so you won't hang in there just run your hook through this band and then pull this extra part underneath so you will hide it for us Continue to do this until you hide it completely that you cannot see it anymore. Okay, so that should be fun, like this. So on the front, it looks like a little circle. So now we're going to make the black part on the center here, like this. For that part, I'm going to take black band, twist it, make it into four rings, like this. This time is four. One, two, three, four. Take another band, twist it only one time. So the second band, you will only see two rings. Bring this band through, put both in on your hook. And next one, use Y or body color is fine too. Just bring it through and tie a knot here. Now we're going to take this piece that we make, put your hook to the center point, it looks like this, take this, pull it through. Now we're going to pull it all the way through until you can see the second black band that's on this side. That way it will be really tight and you won't come undone. So now we just finish our nose. We're going to attach this piece to the front here. Okay, choose the point that you wanted to attach your nose to. Whichever you think is the right place. And just pull it through like that. And run it all the way through this nose like that. So that way you don't have to use secret or s -crit. Finally, we just attach its eyes to here. Today, I'm going to use toy eyes. If you don't have toy eyes, you can use pony B. It will work just fine too. Just find a point. If you want it to be more permanent, you can use half group to group to it. And if you're not going to be too rough to it, just Touch to here like this, it will be stay just fine. So now we just finish our base. If you want to touch the bottom to the front here, just take one body color, pull it through. So it looks like this. Now choose the center point. Now here, the same way you can do it like a, you attach to your nose or ear or use a secret here. So I'm going to show you how to use secret. If you want to use secret, after you attach to it like this, take your secret, click to it. And now just hide this secret into his tummy until you won't see it anymore. And now you will attach to its body. For more videos like this, please remember to give me a big thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys soon and good luck. Bye.